Hello friends, this video on solid states part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's do a comparison of all the different types of crystalline solids we have discussed. The first thing we told that there are four different types of crystalline solid. The molecular solids, the ionic solids, the metallic solids or the covalent solids. If we talk about the molecular solids, we have three different types. right? Non-polar, polar and hydrogen bonded. If we talk about the non-polar, in all the molecular solids, the constant particle was molecules. In all the ionic solids, the constant particle was ionic. In all the metallic solids, you have positive ions of C of uh, positive ions of my metals and C of electrons. And for in the covalent network, we have this atoms, for example, carbon. We have seen non-metals generally here. Now, if we talk about the non-polar molecular solid, we saw that the London force, the dispersal force was acting there because of the non-polar, non for example, IT, I2, H2, CO2, right? And they are soft, they are insulators. The very weak force of attraction, so they are very low melting point. If we talk about the polar ones, they have dipole-dipole interaction force, like H plus Cl minus partial charge. They are also soft, they are also insulator, but their melting point is little high, not very, very low, it's low. We talk about the hydrogen bonded uh, molecular solvents, for example, water in the ice form. They are hard because the force of attraction is more hydrogen bond, but not that much. So their melting point is also low and they are also insulators. We talk about the ionic solid, they have ions, right? And they have columbic force of attraction, Na plus Cl minus. Right? So if you have Na plus Cl minus, full charge, full, so the force of attraction is very, very strong. NaCl, MgO, ZNS, CF, to their examples. Since the force of attraction is very, very small, very, very hard, sorry, very, very large, force of attraction is very, very strong. They are very hard, but they are brittle. And they are also insulators in solid, but we saw that since they are made of ions, you uh, have this in molten state or in the aqueous solution, they conduct electricity. For example, this. Very, very high melting point. Metallic solids, their uh, constant particle, as I told, was uh, metals with a uh, positive charge metals with a free of electrons, and they, they have metallic bonding, right, between these, uh, and that is also strong, right? The, you're talking about the full charge there. For example, iron, copper, silver. These are examples. They are also hard, but they are malleable and ductile. Why? Because of the free electrons, they are malleable and ductile, and they are conductor in any state. Why? Because they are having free electrons and they are also melting point is very high because the force of attraction is pretty strong. Talk about a covalent or network solid, they have atom as a constant particles, they have a covalent bonding that is also strong bonding, right? So they are also hard. Example of SiO2 or silicon carbide or carbon, there is diamond or graphite. They are hard, the exception is graphite which is soft, this is the exception. But generally they are hard, they are also insulators because they don't have free electrons. And the melting point is also very high. This is the example of diamond. This was the picture of metallic solids. This was the picture of my hydrogen bonded, uh, uh, what do you call hydrogen bonded molecular solid? It is, it is ice. This is the picture of my uh, non polar. This is my picture of non polar. Yeah, clearly this is a picture of non polar. And this is a picture of my polar uh, molecular solid. For example, let's see. So these are the this is the final comparison of solid states. If you understand this slide itself, I mean, you understand everything about this solid state till now. Because everything till now we have, we have covered about the different types of crystalline solids as in this slide. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.